Hello, my name is John Spangle, and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, Underground, where I, I named it Underground, representing the church that uh, in the latter days, which we are in, in some areas of the world, is already underground. Eventually, we'll have to go underground. Um, I'm still in progress of learning all this video stuff. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment if there's things that I have no problem if someone gives a comment and because I will answer that comment by going in the scripture. That's what this is all about. Just to talk about God. Uh, influence, just give someone the influence or ideas to think, look, and study. I want to hit all kinds of topics that not necessarily I think are maybe taught in uh, church. Uh, you know, I... Uh, Things like giants, other things some churches don't talk about. I have so many ideas right now. I've got well excess of 100 channels. It's in my old man brain. I made 50 some on right now. I'm looking at making over 60 more um, at videos, not channels, videos, best I can. I have health issues. I, I know I have memory issues now and and uh, speech problems, but and sinus and but I give the best I can, and that's all we do. We are to occupy. But I was in discussion with some people. A lot of the videos I make are from discussions I have with people, which I love it. But I try to witness, and sometimes I don't do so good unless I have the notes in front of me. Everything I take is out of the King James Version. And as I say before, many times if I study the Old Testament, I'll use Hebrew references. And if I'm in the New Testament, I use... Greek references because the New Testament is Greek and the Old Testament was in Hebrew. But I had someone kind of attacking the other day. We were talking about God and he says, we were talking about the vengeance of God and different things. And then uh, I did a video on that and he was talking about, well, why did the old bald guy, God's just, why did the old bald guy send bears out and kill a bunch of children? So I went back and studied this, and I'm glad for that that uh, question. I went back and studied in Second Kings, where this is talked about. And to start off, I'll I'll, I'll uh, read the verses here, then I'll, I'll explain some other things. But in Second Kings chapter twenty three, verse twenty five, or starts verse twenty five, and he went up from thence unto Bethel. This talks about Elisha. And as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, Go up, thou bald head, go up, thou bald head. And he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she bears out of the wood and tear forty and two children, forty two of them, children of them. And he went from thence to Mount Carmel and from thence he returned to Samaria. So to give understanding of all this, this is how we study the, God's word. Um, there are things you could take right off the bat. There are things you have to uh, have an understanding. Elijah had just went after the prophets of Baal, did the sacrifice, and that's a video I'll talk about later in a different video where the fire came down and wiped everybody out. Elijah and Elisha were leaving. Eli they, they crossed the river. I believe it was Jordan. I'm sorry. I should look at my memories. I knew a few minutes ago now my memories. But they crossed the river. Elijah, Elijah, I'm sorry, opened the river up, the cross, and then later Elisha will open the river again because Elisha witnessed Elijah being taken up to heaven, a rapture. And the rapture has happened more than once, but there's been individuals, like Enoch was raptured. But Elisha, I mean, Elijah is taken up to heaven. Elisha witnessed this. And before this happened, Elijah said, God will allow me to give you something. What do you want? He wants to. He asked for a double portion. These prophets had power because they, this was before Christ, they uh, did miracles to prove or authenticate. As in Jesus, he did a lot of miracles to authenticate who he was. The prophets authenticated in the Old Testament to show they were prophesying for God. If a prophet gave a prophecy that was not 100%, I mean, to the very detail, they were killed because they weren't a true prophet. 
A lot of people nowadays put stuff on YouTube and I prophesy this, prophesy this. If they're wrong, they're not killed. How many people, rapture, timing of the rapture church. We don't know the timing of the rapture church. We know it's before tribulation. That's all we know. And they're like, get their, their ideas. Well, and then guess what? It don't happen. They would be killed. So, Elisha, and again, my cat's playing with the lamp over there. <laughs> Elisha uh, had witnessed this. He had, since he had the spiritual power, he came back across the river and made a path across the river and it closed. Just like when uh, Moses did the, the uh, Red Sea. And he was walking back. So he represents God. So give this understanding. He's not God on earth, but he's a representative of God on earth. So in the Hebrew, I went back to children. I thought, man, children? But understand the, the age of things. In Hebrew, the meaning of children is youth or young men in their 20s. Well, it talks about youth or young men. But later, I look at these being men of their 20s. Because Jesus started his ministry at 30, Jesus was a man. See, they're considered youth, and then they're they're when they're, in their, like, 30 years old or plus, they're considered men as in, because they're wiser. So, a youth, we're not necessarily talking about in, in children, like I said, Hebrew youth, young men, or late teens, 18, 19, to, through 20s, up to 30, well, 29 years of age. So, this was a gang of men. I mean, we look at them as men, uh, 42 of them. And then it says, in the Hebrew meaning of terror, because it talks about how there came forth two she-bears and out of the wood, and terror, 40 and 2, children of them, you could be saying, and 42 young men of them, 20-year-old men, well, maybe 21, 22, 23, but a person in their 20s. And it talks about, a t meaning of terror is an affliction or a ser serious wound, but not necessarily death. If those two she bears went in and killed them, then it would be uh, smite. It would say two she bears out of the woods and smoke. Actually, smoke means smite. Smoke the forty-two. But instead, it said tear. So it gave him wounds, but didn't kill him. And then, of course. Uh, he walked, he went on to uh, Mount Carmel. And the reason for this is mocking the prophet of God. In other words, mocking Elisha was blasphemy. Well, hey, hey, boo, not daddy's tea. That's my other cat over here. It's, uh, it was blasphemous, against, blasphemy, if I say that correctly, against God. Let me show you what boo looks like. This is she was in the, all our animals are rescue animals. She wasn't expected to live a, not a day. We got her as a kitten. And the vet said she ain't going to make it. We said, nah, we'll have prayer. And we'll give her the shot and see what happens. And she survived. Now she's rotting again in the window. Uh, we have five rescue cats, by the way. Used to have seven. Then two of them we gave to a friend of ours. And then we had our rescue dog that was a bulldog. And she passed away. We had to put her down. And she was 16 years old. Most bulldogs live to be eight. She lived 16 years. But mocking the prophet of God was considered blasphemy against God. So, of course, there's judgment on them. And uh, like I said, I titled this, Why Two She Bears Kill Children. Because, and that's what people do when they, they try to, try to be smart or they try to uh, make a point about God. Oh, well, God, you know, he's a vengeful God, which is good. He's God was made fun of for being bald, so they, he sent out bears and killed children. What kind of person is? The, you got to study. And, that, and that's what God, because if I take the moment to study, I'm putting the effort into it. That's what these channels, the, this uh, this YouTube channel is all about. It's about studying the Word of God. I have ideas. I may be wrong. God will correct me gladly. But it's to study the Word and get get in it and and 
to encourage people to study and learn more about God. And like I said, face value, you can't always take things at face value. Uh, that's another channel I'll do about the, these flat earthers and the things they say about the earth being flat when actually it's the, the Bible does not. And I've had scholars, I know uh, I could think of one person right now that passed away, and I have a lot of respect for him. That's just the only thing we disagree on. He thought the earth was flat, and it's like, I think the earth's flat. The earth is a sphere. Not because I was taught it in school. I go against a lot of teachings I was taught in school. I'm taught this earth is, this earth is millions of years old. I don't believe it is. I was taught this earth. Dinosaurs were killed out by the, by the asteroids. I don't believe that's true. I believe the flood. That's why they're fossils. The flood fossilized them. I believe, like I said, there was giants on this earth. I believe that Adam was not a six foot tall man. I believe Adam was like 15 feet tall. He was not considered a giant because beginning, beginning creation, everything was bigger on this earth. Trees were big. Everything was just bigger. And that's a video I'll be making later on. I want to open my eyes to God, what is true, because we've been deceived by Satan all of our lives. And so I'm, I'm walking out of that as they say, out of that box that I've been put in through secular schools and everything else and traditions of families' teachings, and I'm going to God because of the truth. We are in exciting times. Soon the rapture will take place and we'll be with God. And I'm excited about it. Matter of fact, I, I talk so much about people. You're obsessive, man. You obsess too much on God. How can you obsess too much on the Creator? They see it as an insult, and to me it's a compliment that means that I, I'm doing something correct. So I look forward to making more videos. I look forward to uh, uh, expanding uh, my mind into the what God would want. And hopefully uh, I'll have better subjects in the future. And uh, that we and should look at more of my videos. <laughs> Thank you very much.